the fuck are you talking about, man? <laughs> Do you want to know what makes Daddy Truth's nipples hard? Uh, the Batman news certainly makes me squeeze out a fat juicy. Anyways, here is a supposed leak for the Batman part. Duh. Hi, all. Again, take this with a massive grain of salt. But this sounds plausible, so I could see this coming into fruition. But we shall see, Daddy-o. So, here's what it says. <coughs> Hi all, passing to report, the Batman Part 2 script is almost finished and production is still set to begin in March. Expect casting announcements as soon as the strike ends. As for the script, don't expect major tone changes. Good, I like it dark and raw like my porn. Reeves initial script is 170 pages long. Another long bat flick is coming. <laughs> so am I. As for the plot, identify is the main theme this time. Hmm. Once again, Batman will have to use his detective skills, but this time he not only has to find out who is the murderer, but also prove Bruce Wayne is innocent. Yes, Bruce Wayne will be incriminated for crimes he didn't commit. So again, this leads me to believe that the main villain will be Hush. I like it, Jim. I like it. The rogues introduced in the first movie will return, but fresh faces will terrorize Gotham City this time. Hush, Clayface, Scarecrow, Pig, and Poison Ivy were all in Reeves' initial script. Apparently, Pig will be introduced in the Penguin series, and before I forget, new allies will also make an appearance, specifically Leslie Tompkins. I like that. She was also in the Batman animated series. She was, she was a huge part in, Bruce, in, in Bruce's life growing up after he lost his parents. And Leslie Tompkins, I believe, is the, is the, is the psychiatrist, I believe, right? Harvey Dent, Two-Face, uh, and Dick Grayson. Ugh. God, all right. My erection is now lost. Harvey Dent will not be Two-Faced yet, but this iteration of the character will struggle with mental illness. Okay, I love that. And about Dick, <laughs> he will be a minor part of the story. Don't expect to see him fighting thugs yet. I will be back if I hear anything else. Now again, you, you already know. If you don't know, I don't like introducing Dick Grayson. I think it's stupid. I think it's not warranted. Uh, especially this Bruce Wayne who is mentally just beyond fucked up uh i don't see i don't see adding dick grayson will again it's it's like we're gonna have batman brave and the bold in the dcu we're gonna have a bat family so why do i want to see that again in matt reeves version again even if if, if it if dick grayson is introduced like as a background character for like five minutes and we never see him again fine i'm okay with that but if this is going is if this is going to lead to an eventual dick grayson growing up and fighting alongside uh, Robert Pattinson and Batman, then they already fucked up this whole franchise. <laughs> they they already fucked up this whole franchise already. But again, I think Matt Reeves is very smart. I think he's very intelligent, and I think he's not going to introduce uh, a, an older degree, a, an older degree to fighting alongside Batman. That's dumb. As far as far as Two Face goes, um, I like that. I like introducing Harvey Dent first, you know, letting us get to know the character and then eventually build up to him Two-Face maybe in Batman Part 3 or Part 4 if they go down that road, which we shall see. But I like that. It introduced Harvey Dent very early. As far as uh, Poison Ivy, um, that's interesting. I don't think I don't think they're going to go the whole, you know, Poison Ivy taking over Gotham City with her fucking weird plants. Again, that's too uh unrealistic and especially for this grounded version of batman uh the clay face obviously that's been you know rumored for a very long time i think that's true hush i think that's i think that's 100 true i think hush will be one of the main villains in this movie and i'm so excited about that because i've been wanting to see that character in live action for a very long time and hush is, is a very cool character professor pig uh that character if, if you played arkham knight that character is really dark really fucked up uh, that's like some R-rated Saw shit, uh, which I'm all about the guts and the blood and the sex. You know me, R-rated all day, NT17, hashtag, I'm horny. But, <laughs> but as far as those characters being in the script, in the initial draft, um, I could believe that. Now, whether or not they make it to the final product, that remains to be seen. But overall, um, this sounds plausible. You know, nothing is like really out of the ordinary, but again... I've come around on the Batman. At first, I was like, man, this movie is fucking boring as shit. 
and now I've rewatched it, and now you know I've come to appreciate the film a lot more, and uh, and, and I and I really enjoy the film now. So there you go. Look at that. Opinions can change. Who would have thought? Uh, so that's gonna be it. Hit like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Discord, TikTok. Your sisters at Shakes. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think of this initial leak, quote unquote? Um, it sounds plausible. It sounds. It sounds, you know, realistic. Nothing in this shit where it's like. And by the way, fucking Batman at the end credit scene sees a spaceship coming to Earth and it's fucking Superman. It's like, no, no, none of that stupid shit. Overall, I like it, Jimbo. I like it. Love you all. Stay safe. Truth. Oh, 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 oh shit. God damn, that's a cakey beef. Out. You freaky frog! You freaky motherfucker! You freaky bitch! You freak-